What was the conversation at the Big Ten Media Week surrounding Northwestern and what where this is all heading, do you think? Behind the scenes, I think it was different than probably what was being had because I think a lot of people looked at it. Nobody looks good at with what's gone on at Northwestern. And when I say nobody, I mean the school looks terrible. They've had other scandals volleyball they have a scandal going on with the baseball program the ad who's a relatively new ad was on vacation when all this happened the president who's also a new president there had come from oregon he does not i think he looks like he's botched this all over the place and then you have pat fitzgerald who was you know had been had been the head of the afca the american football coaches association was one of the most respected figures in the coaching profession um also a guy that a lot of a lot of us in the media really feel like okay you, you know we think pat fitzgerald he's accessible does things the right way and then when you start to hear some of these details i think it you know you kind of realize it's like okay we don't really know what's going on behind the scenes at 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 anywhere unless you're actually behind the scenes with them and I think it's hard to know exactly what to believe right now because there's a lot of allegations. There's a lot of people coming forth. There's a lot of lawsuits coming out. I think, it, you know, coaches, even coaches who who have great respect for Pat Fitzgerald, I think they would have a hard time believing. You don't know what's going on at all in your own locker room, especially if it's been going on for that long. Some of the, some of the weird, creepy stuff of these, like, naked car wash kind of things go beyond... I think the realm of like, okay, that's that's kind of team initiation and team <laughs> bonding to like, okay, that's weird. Right. You know, that kind of stuff. And so... So then how do you keep the staff basically intact to run the ship and bring in Skip Holtz to... To help, you know, the, to help, help the, the new head coach, interim head coach, who is like really new to the staff, the new defensive coordinator. Right. I don't know. I, I, right now, I feel like Northwestern is making one stupid move after another along the way here. And... You know, look, let's be honest. This was a terrible team last year. They won one game. They've been really, really bad. You know, almost they had one good season out of the last four. The other three have been horrific. So I don't think anyone looks at the expectations like, oh, even if Pat Fitzgerald was there, I think people thought it was still probably a two or three win team right. this year. But that doesn't mean, okay, we're just going to like, you know, punt on the players and everything else is going on. I suspect you know, now they just commissioned another, and there's been no transparency by by the way. On well, because they're a private they're institution, private school. right? Um, it's it's just a, like I said, nobody looks good in it, and I think in the long term, I suspect they're going to have to clean house entirely from this. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if Pat Fitzgerald got a big settlement going forward, but I don't know how it's going to look for him. You know, I don't think anybody. I, I would imagine he does not want to get deposed under oath you know, with this either, because mm. there's just so many people coming out of the woodwork and it feels like some of these issues predate him as the head coach at Northwestern. Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.